Hello everyone, I'm Kalen North, and today we're going to talk about speedrunning a spread of Rampant Green. Green is defense focused and has trouble with explorers, so we will be attempting a terror level 2 victory and relying on major powers to close out the game. We're going to use board A for this run. This lets us clear the starting town on turn 1. Spread tends to grow a lot, to its cards as well as its growth options. We will take every growth option at least once throughout the run, working our way down both tracks. Turn 1, we want to place presence from the top track twice, where we place depending on the invaders. If they explore the jungle or wetlands, we want to put presence in lands 2 and 5. Otherwise, we want a presence in land 5, and a presence in either land 1 or 4, the mountain or sands where they don't have any Dahan. Our card place for turn 1 will be Gift of Proliferation and Stem the Flow of Fresh Water. Gift places an additional presence from the bottom track in land 1, 4, 5, or 8, depending on where the invaders explored. All enveloping green is not useful this turn, use it or skip past it. Stop one of the invader builds using the choke the land with green. Then you stem the flow and creepers tear into mortar to destroy the town in land 8. Turn 2 we want to place presence from the bottom track and gain a major power. Presence is going to go into land 2 or 8 if the invaders explore the jungle second but not the wetlands first. If the invaders did explore the jungle second and the wetlands first, then we may just want to reset. It is possible to win, but it's going to be a lot slower. Place that presence from the bottom track. Now this turn, we want to defend the Ravage with a town or a city, so in this case land 6, uh, relying on a fear card to help us if we need to in land 2. This has about a 50% chance of working. For our Major, we really want Fear Generation and or Destruction effects that can help us push Terror Level 2 and clear the city in Land 2 if needed. Some good candidates are Accelerated Rot, Insatiable Hunger of the Swarm, Manifest Incarnation, Paralyzing Fright, Pent Up Calamity, Pillar of Living Flame, Sea Monsters, Smothering Infestation, Talons of Lightning, The Jungle Hungers, Tigers Hunting, or Tsunami. Doesn't look like we got any of these this time. Um, other majors can probably work, but will require changing plans somewhat. Um, we're going to go with Trees and Stones Speak of War for now. Go ahead and forget Stem the Flow of Fresh Water. We're not going to use it again. And play Overgrow on a Night and Fields Choked with Growth, triggering All Enveloping Green. All Enveloping Green, the land that's about to ravage with the Han in it. And Overgrow in a Night to gain three fear. We want to overgrow a knight for fear rather than presence because fear is going to be our most scarce aspect this run. And that strife is potentially useful. We can use that in the city in case they explore the wetlands later. Choke the land with green. Stop a build. And then we manage to stop and explore. Fields choked with growth here is going to be less useful but we might as well push them to Han. And Creepers Tear into Mortar, we want to skip past. If there's really no good target for Fields Choked with Growth, uh, it may be faster to just skip all powers at the end of turn two and just have the card be a dead card. So turn three, we're going to place a presence from the top track, and we're going to gain a minor power. This miner is highly opportunistic. We want to try and find something useful, especially something that causes fear, and just sort of go for it. Uh, in this case, Dark Entangled Woods is perfect. It's going to let us defend land 3, save a Dahan, uh, get rid of an extra explorer, and generate some extra fear. Um, the elements for this minor power and are probably not going to work out to hit either a threshold on our major or our innates this turn, but there is a chance that they will. But what we want to do here is play our major and minor power and control the board as best we can. If we got the right cards, we can sometimes just win this turn, uh, usually on the Ravage step. Uh, if you can imagine for a moment, we had something like Insatiable Hunger of the Swarm to generate a bunch of fear, destroy the city, and then on the Ravage, destroy the town in Land 3. But as it is, we don't have that. So 
let's go ahead and place from the bottom track. You can place from bottom or top in that situation. Bottom is going to be slightly better in this situation just because we might want three card plays next turn. So, I'm going to use Dark Entangled Woods and Land Tree. And then I'm going to use Trees and Stones to speak of war in order to destroy... Uh, let's see. Ah, we don't quite have enough for that. Uh, in this case, it doesn't make a huge difference. Because the Explorer in Land 8 is going to die anyway, we might as well use it in Land 6. Uh, Command Beasts we can use to get an extra fear here. Invaders Explorer in the Jungle again. Creeper's Tarantum Order isn't going to do enough for us. So, we're going to reclaim cards. And now in this case, because we didn't find anything before, I'm actually going to mulligan on our Major and see if we can find something new. Turn 4 is going to be very opportunistic depending on what we've found so far. In this case, Insatiable Hunger of the Swarm is perfect. Um, for the trees and stones speak. Um, hopefully the island is clear or almost clear of buildings at this point and we just need to get to 12 fear total for terror level 2. The first two turns should have generated 5 fear. Turn 3 should have produced some additional fear. And this turn, Overgrow and a Knight will get us three more if we need it, which should often be enough to end the game in the fast phase. Um, as it is, we're going to use Insatiable Hunger of the Swarm, which should generate at least three fear when destroying this city, which will be just enough to get us to Terra level two while clearing off the board. <laughs> So if we still have buildings, try to either set up Creeper's Tear into Mortar or, or Dahan Counterattacks to finish them off. If we're short on fear, control the board to stop buildings from cropping up so that we can reclaim and use Overgrow in a Night or, generate, or fish for a Miner that can generate some more fear until we get to that Terror level 2. Regardless, the game should usually end somewhere between turn 3 and turn 5 as a result of being able to spam fear cards and destruction. A spread of Rampant Green ends up being way faster than I ever thought it could be, at least with the right card draws. Um, when going at top speed, if you're able to get the, a good Major from the list above, uh, the route can take just over a minute, but more consistently between about one and three minutes with some practice. Hope you enjoyed the video. If this inspires you to try going fast, please check out the Spirit Island leaderboard on speedrun.com. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.